today is a glorious day. I hope you guys are all having a glorious day. I woke up in the best mood ever. Do you guys believe it's the same thing that I believe? That nothing in life is random, that everything happens for a reason. God has, God has perfect timing, divine timing, if you will, and that there are not, there's nothing random. Well, today, I woke up feeling as though things that I've been trying to figure out for months, for the whole entire winter, actually, have suddenly just become clear, and it's a glorious feeling. I feel ready to start the day and start fresh and be where I wanted to be for this whole winter. And after I figured all this stuff out <laughs> this morning, before I even got up, uh, I, God started presenting me with opportunities to, figure, to, to perfect this. And that's something that's important. And that's something that I wanted to tell you guys is that when you figure something out or you learn a new skill, God pre presents you with so many opportunities right away to perfect that skill. So anytime you're met with adversity and stress and you're trying to figure things out, sometimes I could just be God giving you opportunities to figure it out. But anyways, so one big thing that happened to me this morning is that I learned how to shoot specific TikToks. Did you guys know that on TikTok there's a question and answer thing and people can ask you questions and answers? So let me show you. So this is our TikTok. Do you guys see it? And right there it says Q&A. I had no idea what the heck that meant. I never even pushed on it before. We've been like making all these TikToks and really I can just push this Q&A. It gives me a bunch of questions that you guys ask us and then I can make a TikTok about it instead of like type it all out. It's so cool. So I did one this morning with Gabby about Storm and I'm gonna do another one right now if you guys wanna see what it is and if I actually figure this out, uh, go and check out our TikTok. It's uh, OG day by day. OG day by day, Gabby came up with that. All right, I've lost the puppies. I've lost the puppies. Oh, I see the puppies. I see them. Uh-oh, I see one disappearing. Come on, Daisy. I know you can't hear me. <laughs> I'm projecting my dis, my, oh good, she's coming. Oh, she saw me, this way. Come on, come on. Good girl, yeah. Come straight to me. Don't make me look bad. Good girl, sit. Good girl, yeah. So you guys, you guys can see she's doing so good. Everybody in our, our personal life, like in our life, are shocked at how well she's doing and how well, how far she's come with sign language. People still wish that we would try the vibration collar that we bought for her, but she, it stresses her out. It stresses her out to the point that she gets anxious about the next vibration zap and then she isn't paying attention to us because she's like nervous and I don't want to train her with that kind of mindset. Come on. Good girls. So um, I have friends that have a deaf dog and they train their dog to just be checking in all the time and use sign language and they're even able to take their dogs like on trail rides and on long walks and stuff without a leash and the dog is doing well. So that's the goal you guys. She's doing super well. Girls are out on grass for breakfast um, and lunch. <laughs> and we are headed to the barn to do something fun with more friends. Good morning guys, welcome to today. Anyways, I'm out here in a glorious sunny day getting my hay. This is my hay load. I get 12 bales every week. And there's my storage of hay I have. So we don't have a lot of hay fields in our property and um, last year, because we had the boys home, we put we didn't have a lot of hay, so I had to get, uh, I had to buy extra hay. Um, I think we only have seven acres of hay. And if the boys were home, they'd be eating all that grass. Um, but this summer, I think I'm going to have it cut and baled. And that's, if I have somebody do it, it cost me around $5 a bale. Um, and I'll probably get maybe 200 200 bales and I'll store that but anyways I buy from this farm I buy their hay and it's about five dollars a bale that I buy it for and that's like normal price because of they store the hay for me too so I'm buying it stored it's about five bucks a bale you could probably get around some places you can get around four dollars a bale um, that's if it's delivered to you and you pay that all up front but I just pay as I go, 
12 bales every week, $60 every week is what we spend on hay for the girls. So that's, that's it. So that's my hay behind me and I'm going to load her up on my truck. I brought Molly with me today. Molly likes to come on little truck rides with me. Ruby not so much. Ruby doesn't like coming with me. I don't know why, but I mean, it's fun, isn't it? It's fun to get hay. No, not really, but it has to be done. And there you have it, 12 bales of hay. I could fit um, 16 in this truck. 12 works for me, so that's why I go for 12. Anyways, that's it, that's my hay. And the reason I like this hay is because a couple years back, um, I was looking for hay because uh, we boarded at Fiona's. So I looked at some ads and I saw this ad for hay and I said, hey, go try that hay. So I went and got hay and it wasn't, it wasn't the greatest. It was kind of moldy and I didn't know what I was looking for in hay before at the time. Because we just started out getting horses and then I followed another ad and said, we've got hay and it's actually a hay farm. So I went and I got five bales of their hay and I was like shocked at how nicely packed and tight this hay was. This, this hay is it's pretty nicely packed. Like the hay that we get done on our property, it's the ropes are not as tight as these are and they fall over the place. They don't look rectangular shapes, the different weird shapes. But I was impressed by this hay. And the quality was pretty good so so when we moved to our farm I was like yeah that's where we're gonna get our hay from and sure enough that's this is where we get our hay from so every week I usually come and get some hay I mean I would store it in a, above our barn but that's a lot of work it's just easier just to come out and grab 12 bales and bring it back rather than get like 300 bales and have to get a hay elevator which I don't have we borrowed one last time we did that and then have all everybody all hands on deck putting the hay up it's a lot of work I find it just easier just to get 12 bales bring it to the barn fill it up and you know sometimes uh, at one point I did have a trailer attached to it and I would get more than 12 but 12 worked for me works for us anyways in our little farm Anyways, that's it. That's all about my hay. Hope you enjoyed this little segment on hay. <laughs> Molly's been having fun running around. A new area. You ready to go? Come on. Let's go. So we're we're headed to the barn. We're riding with somebody that we've never ridden before with. This is somebody that we hardly know. She's watched her videos. She knows like us a little bit through our videos. We know her a little bit because she's just this kind lady that rides at our barn. Uh, her horse is friends with our horse and we decided to ride together because COVID is kind of coming to the end and we're allowed to ride with people. So we're doing it today and I'm gonna prank her. I'm gonna prank her Sam. What do you think I should prank her? I'm gonna prank her hard. Like I'm gonna prank her. Like this girl is genuine. Like a genuine upstanding person. Like this girl is probably the most honest person I've ever met in my life. Like, I only know the gist of her and I, I can feel like her spirit is beautiful and she she's honest and and a straight up kind of girl. Like a straight up kind of girl. Says it, says it like it is and I'm gonna prank her. I don't even know her, she doesn't know me well enough for me to prank her. I'm gonna prank her, this is what I'm gonna do. You guys ready to prank her? Yeah. Okay. 
I'm pretty sure Travis like, I'm not involved in this. Okay. So anyways, we're going to go there. We're just riding with her today. She wants to do a little bit of jumping and she doesn't want to be alone because clearly you don't want to jump your horse when you're alone. So we're just kind of going to be there and we're going to just ride with her. So basically, I'm going to ask her if I can introduce her to our vlogs just so that I can say like, oh, you know, this is so-and-so and she belongs to her partner and we're riding with her today. And so once she says yes, if she says yes, knock on wood, that she'll say yes, I'm going to introduce her. And when I introduce her, I'm going to lie to her. I'm going to say, I'm going to lie to you guys. I'm going to say, hey guys, this is so-and-so. And you guys know you've been wanting us to get a dressage coach for the longest time. And with COVID, it's been really hard. But we found this amazing girl who goes to our barn and she is a dressage coach. And she's our new coach, you guys. She's our new dressage coach. And she's going to start today by giving us lessons in dressage. And you guys are probably going to get to see so much changes in us and our horses learning dressage. And she's not a dressage coach. She's not a coach. <laughs> none of those things <laughs> I'm gonna see how she responds and then if she responds and like says no 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 I'm not your coach don't say that I'm gonna say like oh I can just cut that out just pretend just go along with what I, what I'm saying but anyway you guys get the gist of it I'm gonna video her prank her and if it goes well and she understands that my prank was just meant to be funny and she lets me post it, I will. But there's a good chance that she's going to be like, do not put that. Do not put me in your videos. Not everybody wants to be in our videos because not everybody is wants their stuff to be out there in the whole world. How they ride or, or their horse or anything. But anyway, cross your fingers. It's going to work. And if you guys see me introducing her in this video at any point, then that means it's go time. Hey guys, we are at our barn and we're with a friend here. You guys have been commenting a lot lately saying that you wanted us to have dressage, le dressage lessons and find us a dressage, co dressage coach. And I wanted to introduce you guys to our new dressage coach. This is Shayna. She <laughs> I wouldn't go so far as coaching. Um, I've ridden dressage almost exclusively for the past two years with my coach and her I guess it'd be considered almost level three dressage horse. Um, I just started my own guy. Um, he's Western Pleasure, which is off the deep end of what I'm used to. Aww, um, I love him. He's such a good horse. Some of you guys have seen him before. Yeah, he's friends with your horses. He's yeah. friends with Storm. Yeah. Um, but and if our horses can be friends, then we can be friends. But anyway, I want to go back to the fact that Shayna's going to be giving us a dressage lesson, lesson today. And you guys are going to get to see uh, the big changes that it's going to make in our horses and our girls riding. I'm hoping you guys can give me some tips on jumping because I'm a little rusty there, Laura. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We're all going to just share and see what we can do. All right, let's go get our horses. All right, yeah. so I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah. But they, I love yeah, the color these, of these, these breeches. These are the elation, and they are, they're not breeches. These are their tights. They're so tights. They're on sale at the moment. Oh, Gabby's wearing green too. Stand beside her. Like they're totally different colors. Gabby's are like super hunter and then hers are like a little See, bit brighter. I can't find anything that size that fits me that's that color. That color would look nice on my horse, but. <laughs> it's all about the horse. Yeah. All right, so I'm still with Shayna here, our new, new dressage coach and the girls are headed that way. I like going this way. So I'm gonna stand here while the girls go catch their ponies. And while Shayna goes catch goes and catch her pony, because I'm not riding. I could. You guys. She has no idea. She has no idea what I did. Did you guys hear me? I'm like, yeah, she's our dressage coach and she's gonna give us a lesson. We never even talked about that. She just, I didn't even know she knows dressage. And she just like she's just ignoring it. She's just like a really nice girl who's just letting me say whatever I want. Even if it's not true. You guys remember when I did that that challenge or I did that trick on my kids where I like lied in the camera about them and to see what they would do? That's what this is. And I'm lying about stuff. And she's just letting it go over her head, which is a sign I was such a nice girl. But she did point out at the very beginning, oh no, I'm not a dressage coach. I'm gonna keep it going. This is the first time I've been able to do a prank on somebody else and really keep it going. I just gotta think of something else good to say. It's like, you guys saw me laughing? It's because I get so nervous lying to people like this. I'm gonna try and really push it and like really get her to realize that I'm saying like total untruths and see what she does. You got a little beat up? A little beat up. Oh, I it. won't I touch it. it. <laughs> Say that. I, I, pick it. I know. We like to. We're good. Two shoes. We're good. 
Good boys. Look at this big boy's tail. We love you, Finny. So the boys had chiropractic treatment a couple days ago, so they should be in great condition. Oh, who do you have here? Storm. Oh, you have Storm. Why are you riding Storm today? I didn't know you were riding Storm. Because it's his turn. It's his turn. It's your turn. Turn in some men. Yeah. So we're running Storm in the field just to make sure he's okay for riding. And all of a sudden, Chino looks up. She looks up and comes running to us. Now he stopped. <laughs> Whew, so we're gonna. Chino. Come on, Chino. Come on. So we're gonna wait and ride Storm. And I'll tell you guys why so that Chino. it's not confusing. So, uh, basically, he's not lame at all. And he's great. He just had chiropractor and he did really great as a chiropractor. But we're still working on fixing his feet. I told you guys before, Storm needs particular feet to him. And even when we get all the angles right and all the measurements, because our farrier is like super incredible and even takes out all of his tools and measures his stuff. That doesn't work for Storm. He has a certain way because of his confirmation that he has to have his feet done. And it took two years for our old farrier and he accidentally got it right one day. And so we switched farriers and now we're not, um, and we still don't have it right. And uh, he just had chiropractic and I'm having the farrier come back more often so we can like try and figure it out better. So he's coming tomorrow. I just called him after the chiropractor and the chiropractor said, yeah, she still thinks that he's probably, his feet are still not exactly the right whatever for him. He was gonna ride him and then she was like, you know, I don't wanna push anything. He's a, his, everything is reset. He's in great shape right now. She wants to, uh, let the uh, farrier do whatever he's gonna do before she rides him again, which I think is super responsible and Michael perfectly Jackson acceptable. <laughs> I was I was being a Michael Jackson there. Were you moonwalking? No, the lean forward thing. Oh, Michael Jackson leans. Do they lean forward? <sighs> Somebody will know what she's talking about. I think it's Michael Jackson. What, what do you mean? It's the thing where he leans forward. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's literally him for a good minute. <laughs> literally. Just well, who I... Stops. Just who I thought you would want to be. Okay, Gabby. What do you think about how Shayna is not responding? I'm pretending that she's our dressage coach and telling them she's our dressage coach and that she's going to give us lessons. Ah! I got attacked by a, by a tree. <laughs> Don't vlog and walk, people. Yes. Yes. Gabby said that she's doing like what Gabby does and playing dumb and pretending not to hear it. Yeah, that's what she's doing. And she's doing it because she's kind. But I'm going to push it to the limits, you guys. Sophie, what do you think is happening? I keep on telling lies in front of her. She doesn't call me on it. What do you think is happening? I know, I hear you. Our, our dressage, um, dressage coach. coach. <laughs> what would you do if somebody did that to you? You'd just go I, along I, with I, it? I would just walk away. <laughs> All right, so this is Shayna's horse. Yeah, this is Donnie. His registered name is Noticeably Good. Noticeably Good. They'll all be looking him up now. If you don't want that in there, tell me now. No, that's okay. Um, All right. He's predominantly uh, Western pleasure bred. Yeah, so this guy has done dressage his whole entire life. For the last three years, he's been specialized in dressage. Western dressage. It's a little, like, the term dressage actually comes from Calvary. So it's Calvary movements to position your horse and get it underneath you. And he's super cute. He's a red roan, right? Yes, he is. And how tall is he? Uh, about 15'1". 15 15'1". One. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily want him any bigger. I went from riding something that was 17 one to this. Um, so how long have you been riding, Shayna? Well, that's a question. How long have you been a dressage coach? Uh, I haven't actually been a dressage coach. I assistant coach some of the younger kids with my uh, instructor. I have i don't show. So I practiced dressage about two and a half years. Um, when I was jumping a little bit more, for every jumping lesson, we'd do two or three dressage lessons. So the older horse, my other coach. Our subscribers will love you. That's true, and I believe in 
in uh, criticism too. I honestly and truly do. A lot of people have that misconception on our channel that I don't. I've learned the most about horses and riding from our subscribers. People get mixed up. They think that I don't like criticism because when people use hateful words and say really mean judgments, to me that's not criticism or critiquing. It's just being hateful. The best advice I could possibly give anybody that's ever thinking of showing. I don't show because I, I have mental issues I react really bad in a show so a horse like him I shouldn't be showing the first or third time he goes out because it's just gonna be You're, he's gonna feed off of you he's gonna feed off me and it's gonna be negative so the first time he shows it's gonna be somebody else and I'm yeah, gonna be there that. cheering him yeah, on yeah that's amazing um, but I've noticed like even Olympic riders lose yeah you're not gonna win every show. Yeah. You're gonna look like dirt one or Some two times. Some of the times, yeah. No yep. matter how good you are, yep. perfection, yep. you're never gonna have a perfect round. And you so. know what I think? I think especially for children, and you you have to, it takes a lot of repetitiveness, a lot of learning. And some people think like we've had enough training that we should know it by now. You but never have enough training. No, and our kids are still really young in the whole show, in the whole horse, thing and that it's just still gonna take time like by the time Gabby is 17 like Paige then she's gonna be a totally different rider like there's three years is such a big difference in you development you you're going on 25 I thought you were 30 <laughs> no she said she had a body of a 70 year old that's not true I don't believe that but you're mature and you responsible heard the way my knees crack in the morning <laughs> okay so Basically, I'm gonna tell her really soon that I've just been pranking her, but she's like such a not awkward person. Like, she's just so kind. She's just like, just corrects what I say, but doesn't call me out on it. Like, that's so kind. I think she's just gonna ignore everything I say, yeah. All right, we are up and at it. Actually, I brought a chair. I'm gonna sit while these guys do their ride. So, Finn thinks he can just trot away. Finn, they probably all be feeling really good today because they had a chiropractor treatment a few days ago. Even Mr. Donnie had chiropractor treatment. I have to tell you something. Yeah. I have been pranking you this entire video. I've been pranking you and saying all these crazy things that are not true for the video because this is a prank, I'm pranking you video. Oh, cool. And you've been so gracious. And Gabby said that she's just ignoring you and pretending she doesn't hear it to be polite, like what, what Gabby would do. Yeah. Yeah, so we know you're not a dressage coach. No, no. <laughs> we know you're not. A... <laughs> no. We know that you're not giving us dressage lessons. We're just here to have fun. Yeah, this is a fun day, and I've ridden so much of myself. He has problems. You guys have probably seen on videos. He wants to really pull and follow the other horses. Um, I don't like to yank on his mouth too much, but it comes to a point where it's like, okay, you can't run certain people over. Yeah, no, I, that's okay. Nobody's expecting anybody to be perfect. Nobody's expecting you to be a perfectionist or a professional or a coach. It was totally, totally a prank. Do you care if we post this prank? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you were amazing. Like, the other people might have been like, are you crazy? Like, did you feel like you were in a totally different dimension where I'm you- I'm a little, little <laughs> dressage coach. I'm like, oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, you caught it on video. I kind of looked at. I it. know at the very beginning. At the very beginning, you were like, um, but then you just went along with it, yeah. which I think is so polite and so kind. But the whole time it was a prank. I was trying to prank you because I thought it would be funny. I told them at the beginning of the video, we don't even know her that well. I don't know how she's gonna react. But you were so gracious. I like, I mean, I think the worst thing I've had done to me at a farm is when I paid for a camp and I got sent out for a horse that didn't exist. Oh, that's funny. So yeah. you're used to it then. Well, as pranks go, this is probably one of the kinder ones I've had. Well, thank you for being kind. I promise <laughs> none of the, <laughs> I promise we are not in a different reality. We understand what's happening. You're just here riding your horse and we're yeah. here riding our horses. It's having a fun time. The reason I, I told her was because I ended it is because I, I didn't want her to feel uncomfortable. <laughs> like I expected her to be this this, this dressage queen. Like I, I didn't want to pressure her. We are home and there was a package at the door. It's Sunday and we get packages at the door. And I know what it is. It's two things that I ordered. I or I ordered so many things this is it that ice recently. In here? No. I ordered something specifically for Gabby, like a knife for her to cut hay bales and stuff, and it never came. Oh, it is a lot of stuff. 
Gabby's like, I will put it together. <laughs> we'll save it for him for Father's Day. And I ordered this thing. You guys know I ordered I a Pivo. It. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. I ordered a Pivo and I wanted something. Uh, I should have bought this long ago. Wow, you. you are so talented. So talented, Sophie. <gasps> yeah, so that's why I got it. It's so super I bendable. Can use it for my phone when I'm yeah, out. we can use it for anything. Can use it for the camera. Instructions. We love getting mail, you guys. It's like Christmas every time an Amazon box shows up. Let me see it. So sturdy, so super cool. We're gonna be I using this. So, so the reason we like it, the reason I like it is because you can wrap it around stuff. So you can basically hang your camera from any thing, which is what I think will be useful for us. I got glasses. Gabby got glasses. Eyes big. Yeah, she wants glasses. Do you want glasses? No. No. This mask is too big. It's adult size. Did I do it? Down. Did I do it? I don't know. We'll see. Oh my god, glasses hold your mask on. I know, it's super cool. All right, the battery's That's ending. We're gonna end today's bad. video. I'm gonna go down there, and I'm gonna water my garden, and I'm gonna brush my horse. She's standing there looking at me, and I'm excited to go down and spend some time. I've been spending time lately just her and That's me, nice. and really, you know, working on our bond and stuff. So anyway, that is it. We'll see you guys tomorrow at the start of the week. Lots of things happening, and we'll see you guys there later. Don't you know that you're beautiful?